All right, hey, welcome back. Uh, this Sup, is going everybody? To be a slightly different Minecraft video as we are recording the audio after the fact. Because our audio turned out to be pretty garbage. Yeah, so first off, sorry for uh, missing the it coming out last week. We were trying to salvage the audio and it just ended up not working. So uh, right there is our objective for this, uh, this, ma this uh, <laughs> episode. We're going to go and fight the Elder Guardians and collect some sponge. Well, get both those achievements. Sorry, I keep cutting over Scott. So, Scott, go well, right ahead. Uh, well, we're going to... Why the hell do we have a frame of our shit here? That's the video player that we're watching. That's not actually in the video. Oh, all right. Well, disregard. <laughs> <laughs> Conclusion. So, before we got those two achievements and went for that, uh, Scott found a witch dressed right when we started, so... Yeah, right outside of our village. We're just gonna go mess her up for a bit. Do three splash That's potions poison. of poison. Alright, so... Do believe uh, me and Tom rush forward <laughs> first. And just basically throw it at her at the same time, so... Yeah. And... By the way, it's left triggered. Oh, shit. Yes, it is left triggered. Ding! There's us and Scott for the last one. And I actually got caught in Scott's uh, splash potion there. And I'm running away at like half a heart and I can't see my uh, my health from the achievement pop and I'm just screaming all about it. After we got that, a uh, quick little tour of uh, the little new building I made to kennel all my dogs. I'm a muddy pack of wolves. This is about the farthest inside of it I get. Yeah. So I am absolutely terrified of this room. <laughs> but it is beautiful and looks very nice. I love your uh, trough. In case they are thirsty. Yep. And are you planning to get uh, any horses in there with that hay? No, well, not really. It's just a place for them to lay in and whatever. Ah, okay. Well, back to the island. Yes. As uh, this is actually the first time Scott is seeing this, uh, this fast forward. As we establish our little base to do this nonsense. Yes. I actually really enjoyed this part. We should do more of these. And uh, if you guys enjoy this just as much as, uh, as I did, uh, let us know. Yeah, actually, can, it looks pretty good. Yeah, we could do little uh, little build things like this uh, every now and again. Uh, just, you know, let us know. <laughs> yes, and I'm looking forward to seeing what music you pick to do for this section. Oh, God, yes. It's this... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I enjoy the fact that I establish which side I'm going to be um, viewing from for this uh, time lapse, and you guys build the door in the opposite direction. We built the door in the direction that oh, we needed to go. go. Yeah, <laughs> either one would have worked. Yeah, shortest path. And there I go. Oh, we're, uh, it's a little while ago. You guys argue about what uh, frame for the door you guys want. Well, yes, yes, it wasn't we really an argument. It was just one of those things. It's like uh, it was there as the height guide for the building. And yeah, I replaced it with wood, and it all looked too samey, so I went with cobble. And again. Then you go inside and make something Tom can't see. Yep. I think at that point I start working on the uh, the floors and whatnot. Man, the slow reveal. I like the half slab above the door. Yeah, I think that's a neat touch for this condo. Now, the funniest thing about this right here is that on my screen, uh, on my view, both doors opened at the same time. On Scott's view, uh, his door opened first. Mm -hmm. On Tom's view, his door opened first. <laughs> yeah. And here we go, finally to go and start fighting these Elder Guardians and whatnot. I want to point out, Tom, we had boats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it, I didn't need it, because <laughs> by the time you guys catch up to me, I am, like, this far away. I think uh, here comes Scott. There he is. And, and this entire time, I am just lagging out entirely. Because to me, Tom was still at about halfway... Um, to oh hey, there's the guardian. That's the yeah. <laughs> prize. 
glorious first combat, you found uh, found an elder guardian. Probably should have killed yourself. And dead. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't take long. Nope. And Tom's attempt to kill the thing. I realized yeah, I didn't get anywhere near it really. I got and, a couple uh, hits in. Um, and will you be zapped? Up zapped. I uh, calmly am doing the the smart thing and getting our entrance going. Yeah. We're busy throwing bodies at it. Well, it, it was one of the things uh, we're here to kill the Elder Guardian. We found the Elder Guardian. If we can kill it and get it done, make a nice <laughs> <laughs> And there goes that fish. <laughs> Away it goes. It's got <laughs> things to do. I think that's the first time I, uh, I died. Or the only time I died in this video. Yep. It is, in fact, Spoilers. the only time. <laughs> a little bit, but oh well. Go for it! Tom, you can do it! Uh, I, I'm not really quite sure what you do. He's like bucket. Bucket. <laughs> well, it's one of those things. I'm like, all right, I require air to do the thing. I get this far, and things start laser beaming me, so I go back down. I'm like, all right, I got a no ball. arrows. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm just gonna hit it a couple does times. Does bow and arrow actually work underwater? We still don't know. Uh, <laughs> it, it does. Oh, it does. It does. I just didn't have any arrows apparently. Uh, hey, hey, I killed it. Uh, and at this point, we we, we realize that uh, you have to be the one to kill it to get, to get the, the achievement. achievement. It's not like yeah, you can do it. one person of the party does it and everyone gets the achievement, no. which we were really hoping it would be. <laughs> oh my god, we were so hoping. So it is now time to go and find more elder guardians. Oh well, no, sorry. Well, time for glorious sponge. Yes, because <laughs> killing killing an elder guardian, it drops a sponge, so we can go and get the. Sponge achievement. The singular sponge. There it was. Yes. Yes. And I realize I have a sponge. And I'm gonna go try to dry it out. Even though it is a dry sponge. It drops as a dry sponge. I didn't realize that too. I didn't realize that, so I try to cook it. <laughs> My first thought here is, oh, well that's not working. Maybe your furnace doesn't actually work underwater if it's like got water around it. Well, that's, that's a fair enough assumption. So how the hell are you not drowned yet? I drank a potion of water breathing. Ah, all right. That, that makes more logical sense. <laughs> I mean, Mike dropped like four. Oh, absolutely. Mine is sad. Well, establishing a little alcove, too. Yep. Because I haven't realized it's not a wet sponge. It is a dry sponge. I don't know how it actually filled in that... that oh, never mind. It didn't. No, it didn't. Okay, there we go. It's just water in this game is not Odd. necessarily the best. <laughs> as we are all a little salty as we had to fight against water and laser fish for probably, was it three hours? Yeah. And this is my moment of why did. Oh. Dry oh. sponge. <laughs> cool. Why did a fish underwater drop dry sponge? I do not know. <laughs> We may never know. And plop. Now it's a wet sponge. Yay, now to go cook it. Cook. I imagine that's quite the fire hazard, having a lit furnace surrounded by sand. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, isn't sand usually used as a uh, fire suppressant? A smother thing, I that, guess. That's what I meant. Woohoo! I got, I got the dry sponge achievement. Why is that only 61%? Uh, 0.61% of. Because you have to go and fight an Elder Guardian and get a sponge to do it. Yup. Because I don't think they spawn naturally in the world. They're just in these temples. Mike, you're going in deep into the thing. Yep. Uh, at this you're, point, you're, when uh, Scott is coming down to get the achievement, I am just exploring around trying to find us the next. Guardian to fight. You must have a water breathing potion. Yes, I do. It's in the upper right hand corner. It has the effect. Yep. What is it? Uh, is that spoon the mining, mining fatigue? fatigue? Yeah, oh I don't know God. why but spoon is mining fatigue. <laughs> By the Screw way, true mining fatigue. It's the anti freedom of spoon. Yeah, maybe. But uh, whoever decided that an underwater zone should perpetually give you mining fatigue, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> because digging underwater is already slower. I didn't really have a problem with it. Well, if you have a stone or better pickaxe, it's not terrible. 
but, but as we get fun. later and we have to use uh -oh. fists <laughs> and wood pickaxes, I'm screwed up at this point. And yeah. two Forward! in the chest. Let me take them. Nope. <laughs> uh, here's Scott getting. Look, I have a sponge. Yay, here's dry sponge. The achievement. And for those of you who were uh, observant, you may have noticed that uh, at the end of my clip there, I started drowning because he ran out of water breathing and had, has no way and of getting it. And then I just kind of sat there and took it. I enjoy the fact the game paused long enough for like a backfill mm -hmm. and then just punched you repeatedly. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I had crap for lag. Well, no. I had horrible lag. Here's me coming in for the sponge. The glorious sponge. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There you go. For some reason, Mike really likes sponges. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it was like the most useful block in this entire long winded endeavor. Yes. So, after Mike getting the sponge achievement, Scott and Mike proceed to remove every water source block from that first room and begin the slow exploration. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, you see these guys left with the achievements uh, and a couple sponges. I left with the temple in my backpack. I left with <laughs> a few more than that sponges. <laughs> uh, I'll leave the uh, exact amount for later. I, I literally had like blow stacks of everything in, in here. Uh, yeah, like, you're, you're gonna build something nice, I imagine. Yeah, like I, I stole the temple. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of it. Just good, a good chunk of it. There's a nice percentage of that temple that's in my, in my inventory in there right now. I might actually come back and grab some of the sea lamps. They're pretty cool. Well, like one, they, if you do, they, they break, break. They drop. You can remake them. Shards. Yeah. Uh, you like two, you, two, you have to come back for something you forgot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, good luck on that one. God damn. We'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is just us mining away in oh, yeah. one room, and me attempting to fight, and then uh, do, do die for it. Wait for it. There, there it is. <laughs> By the way, also whoever decided the. The bad fish cause damage when you hit them. I also hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna actually have to agree on that one. Eh, it's a puffer fish. What do you expect? Yeah, but I'm hitting it with an iron sword. Why does it hurt me? If I if I punched it and I it could, damaged me, I could accept reasonable. that. But I'm hitting it with <laughs> the a equivalent sword. of a, a sword or a club later as I resort to using wooden objects, <laughs> <laughs> like the bow earlier. Yeah. I'm not actually touching the spike ball. Why do I get hurt? Yeah. I'm expecting to die right now, too. There's a fish somewhere that just killed Mike. And I, I think don't it see ran it. away. I yeah. don't see it anywhere. I'm like, I, like <laughs> I'm like, huh, all right, I'll continue on what I was doing. Well, no, yeah, I think Mike is currently yelling at you to go and the save collect the, the, the sponge. sponge. Like, where's the sponge? I'm like, I have no idea where you're telling sponge. me that you don't see it. You yeah. haven't picked it up. Yeah. Yep. I'm freaking out. Oh, I pre remember pretty why. Pretty sure I left it <laughs> in the furnace. In the furnace. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yelling at me for so long, like, why can't you find it? And I'm like, uh, no, not the sponge, no. And here's the part where Thompson made friends with the fish. Yep. Like, I, I spent like a good like three minutes wandering around the temple using the bucket method to just regain air. And oh, right here like is where anymore. I finally take damage because I finally got close enough to the Elder Guardian, the next one. And they're big. They are big. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so I did not came see, at you. I didn't see the one behind me that came after me. Uh, Tom does more scouting. Because I couldn't figure out how I got there before. I also realized that breaking line of sight on these things is uh, necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking out with its tail there for a bit. Well, that's another Elder Garden, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's the same one. It's the same one. It's just where Laser. I, at the opening. I would laugh if I actually broke the lamp. Punch, God. get out of my way. Here's where you actually realize that they do damage when you hit them. Yeah, I'm like, why? <laughs> why is oh, that's that? that's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, it is just unhappy day for Tom. And here I go. You All had right. a lot of food. Yes. Here's the first stages of uh, Tom's away base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are still cleaning one room at a time, oh. and I'm like, I'm trying to make a little alcove now. We haven't even cleared the first room. This is yeah, we have. You clearly saw us clearing out the. We're now oh, taking okay. down the, the second room. Mind. 
<laughs> they're, they're now one room because we took out the floor. So my confusion. But yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and. I'm like, hey guys, when are we gonna go and get this one? I'm like, <laughs> I found one, come over to me. I got stuff to do. And I think I spend a good like five, ten minutes in this little room, slowly expanding it as a little alcove. Yes. With mining fatigue. With a lot of mining fatigue. As a dirt block that's taking like that was a good like five, ten seconds to oh punch out that dirt block. Gotta get that bucket. Also realizing making a too high wall is just all you need to block their line of shot. Yep. These 64 beats. <laughs> they last you quite a while. Eating a beat underwater while drowning. Well, that's uh, that's going to be an interesting experience. Ugh. <laughs> well, oh, in here I'm attempting to actually move bucket, the water blocks one by one. <laughs> but I realized quickly that... Um, infinite e spawning? No, it's not even infinite spawning. It's the fact that I'm grabbing the wrong one. Because <laughs> wherever I click it, it just grabs a block. It grabs the closest. Yeah. Oh my god. By the way, beetroots do not restore a lot of hunger. And they do not last long. No. They're not how you would say good. Uh, so at some point... I think, like, now-ish, you realize that you can just block up the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> the excitement of me slowly <laughs> establishing a little foothold. Back to the excitement of what you guys are doing. Uh, put down a sponge. Pick up a sponge. Find where you left the furnace. Yep. And put sponge Watch in. A dry sponge. Repeat. <laughs> that is essentially what I'm doing this entire time. I think uh, you, Scott, at this point went back to the base to uh, drop off a whole bunch of uh, materials that you collected. And they're just still being alive for mm -hmm. the both of us have thus far died. Mm -hmm. Death died once. In yeah, the I died yes. once uh, when I established the original foothold. And back to drying. Back to drying. And damn mining fatigue. Well, dot. Dot, dot dot back top. <laughs> I mean, the excitement of this particular adventure <laughs> was palpable. Uh, you guys oh, got hey, you, you guys got so salty during this. It was so just so like unbelievable. I, I'm sitting here going like I'm looting the crap out of all this shiny rock. What are you guys complaining about? I, I hit a point where in the twenty, thirty minutes of me standing around this area. I, I get to a point where I'm just like, I'm so tired of this place, of this water, and of these fish. You became the, the salt. My you, salt you could content. not salt anymore. Salt content hit max levels. Oh God. It's just making I mean, the base bigger. I mean, it's so much faster being out of water to mine stuff. Even with mining fatigue. Yeah. Slowly moving the stuff. So <laughs> I'm happy and you eventually went to speed up the, the recording. Yeah, I dug down to you. Yeah. yeah. I we, think at one point I was like, what is taking so long, guys? Because the first time we were trying to get to you, we were trying to actually take like the, uh, the paths and whatnot. We were trying to uh, dry out the area to get to you. Yeah. yeah and then we just went, screw that. Mine straight forward. And you didn't have, of course, any pickaxes whatsoever. Your oh. your tool was sponge. My, my tool was sponge. The entire time, my tool was sponge. And here I am just pestering you to break the, uh, the furnace for me. Yep. And break the furnace. Nope. No, 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 that. No, that. And this, this is basically uh, my existence for the next few minutes. Because it's like, I must... Dig down. It's like, God, God, come on, come on, break the furnace, break the furnace, break the furnace, break the furnace, break the furnace. <laughs> yeah, that was Mike pretty much the entire time. In that and same voice and that same <laughs> annoyance. And that's how I got salty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer playing a game, I'm babysitting. <laughs> uh, Especially for all the times that I dropped the, or I used the sponge, broke the sponge, and then you picked up the sponge. Like, right? 
here. Now. <laughs> and yeah, like, you, right, you, yeah, you took off. Like, wait, where is it? <laughs> and Mike's like, can, can, I, have can, I, can, I, can I have a sponge? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm trying to do the mission I was assigned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just entering pester mode. A and Tom! We have a Tom, sort of. You guys go off. And and then then Scott I'll, runs I'll, back I'll, and puts break. the... <laughs> no, I can go and break the furnace. <laughs> no, you actually uh, do something minorly different afterwards. And I'm like, all right. Uh, you care to share the quest? I don't yeah, remember. I don't remember. You know, he does go break the furnace, but he hasn't given back the sponge yet. No, I'm still uh, I'm jumping. I, see, I did break the furnace. You, you <laughs> did. did break the furnace. And then you're like, all right, cool. Sponge. And sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Glorious cooking of sponge. And then time passes and we get a, a little surprise as the, the Elder Guardian starts poking in. <laughs> Whack. Get out of here. Uh, that is strange that they just damage you. Uh, I also, uh, through this building of the base and expanding out all the uh, water blocks, uh, Tom kept telling me something about the, how the water physics work, and I blatantly just didn't process oh it. It's it, when you have um, water pouring down. If you put a, a one block high wall, it actually stops the water from flowing further out. Yeah. Yep. And it didn't like process in my brain. I just wanted to make the water go away, so I kept pushing the wall out and breaking this low level wall, and which flooding us and every flooding time. Flooding everybody. Uh, that that happens more later as we. <laughs> well, I, I, this is where it starts. I, though. It, yeah, I did cut out quite a few time uh, iterations of that, uh, but oh my god, it just kept happening. Because I got so tired of the water <laughs> physics just <laughs> pushing me away from everywhere we need to go. Uh. Go for it, Tom. Struggle against the water, and where'd it go? Oh, hello. There it is. Uh, isn't this where, close where you actually got this thing? Oh. <laughs> uh, no. no. I think there's another good ten minutes of unedited content before I actually uh, get Manage into it. to kill it. Well, no. Before I actually get into the position to kill it. Oh, yes. Jeez. Yeah. This was like a three hour long recording session of us getting just progressively more and more <laughs> Why? <laughs> actually, isn't this the one I actually helped you fight? Uh, yes. You, you did punch it quite a few times, yes. I'm attempting to establish a wall out there. It's hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, At this point, we're just kind of confused and in a huddle. Punch it! Whack. Oh, oh see the... Uh, <laughs> Check out the little. Oh, yeah. Reminding the opposite direction. Now, from this one, it should just go. Oh, oh, sponge. Oh, you also had a habit of dropping sponge on any water. Doesn't yeah, matter if there were source, source blocks, blocks nearby. Yeah. It's like I break a wall, water starts leaking in sponge. sponge. That doesn't oh. help at all. <laughs> you removed zero source <laughs> blocks. Now you have to go cook that sponge again. Oh, wasting coal. Yes, I was not the most efficient at sponge, but I was quite adamant. I think at this point, everyone realizes that Scott is the only one with a pickaxe. Yep. Yep. Doop, 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 uh, doop. And this doop. is the first instance of... D no! Don't break the... Damn. Sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Did and nothing. Did nothing. <laughs> and me just kind of lose my shit there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and look, uh, see, I'm you did not, it again. Yeah, I, I didn't understand. I uh, it was like, I need to get in there to like do more stuff. Oh, uh, we're getting close. Not really. We still have to build a whole wall. I like the bucket. The, the, the bucket method works a lot. <laughs> the turretic shelter you actually, again. Can you only use that if you're in. Uh, no, you can use it in the uh, not next to a wall, so it's more efficient than the uh, torch. the torch method. Yeah, which I end up using a lot. Go for it, Scott. To battle, and, and screw that. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, it's strategy. He, he's gonna target me, so I got out of line of sight. Yep. 
<laughs> now, I'm going to go to the wall. Wall. Continue the fortress. Great wall of water. So the first one was rather easy to defeat just because it was so close to the surface. And it was just stuck in a little room. Small room. This one had a long hallway it could retreat back down. And it just continued to do that. And I very much ignored what was going on around me at that point. <laughs> my, hmm. Need to kill source blocks with... Yeah, you went from building a wall to all this water needs to die. There's a wet sponge <laughs> in a furnace with nothing fueling it. <laughs> There's the fuel. <laughs> that, was, that was Mike. I Get punch, out of my punch, way. Punch, 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 punch. <laughs> Another corpse into the corpse pile. I, I wish I noticed me doing that. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, I, I was given a sword. Yes. By the way, I ended up with like eight swords. <laughs> yeah, I at one point went up top and just built a bunch of swords. What do you mean went up top? You died. <laughs> I went up top from dying. I don't think Scott really needed the swords. No, because he, he's got an iron one. <laughs> and I think I threw three more swords at him later. Yeah, he did. And another water, or another sponge that did nothing. Well, no, it's it a, a little like bit. Two four source blocks, maybe three. Quack, 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 quack. I'm helping. Yay! <laughs> you hit it once right there. No, he didn't take damage. Boop, 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 boop. Need more blocks. Need more building supplies. And here comes Tom again to throw his body at it some more. <laughs> Can't hunt it through a wall. You were trying to steal the sponge just now. And... Oh, now nah, I missed. Nope, none of that. The water current was so annoying. It's like, hey, does anyone have food and or sword? And... Sword, sword shower. shower. <laughs> <laughs> both directions. Swords. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, a battle. Give that guy a raise. Also, the laser has knockback. Yeah, it does. It's... It's awful food. on so many levels. <laughs> I highly recommend uh, not ever doing this. <laughs> or if you do it, do it solo and just kill the very first one and then call it a day. <laughs> Having to do it three times was a little bit of an annoyance. Oh my god. It, it could have just been the one. It could have been one. Right. And there I exploded into all oh, the government. Oh, look, ever. the sponge. Yes. <laughs> Which immediately becomes Mike yelling. No, get, pick off the sponge! No! I don't find it. Oh, damn it. Mike no, forgot I'm to silence sorry. his phone! Well, some idiot from Phoenixville is calling me. <laughs> Scott calmly silences his phone. <laughs> oh my god. I have the sponge. Sponge achieved. Da, da, da. There we Can you go. see, Mike? I put it in the furnace with the coal. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. That's a lot of little ones. There it is, all the way back there. And double laser. Ow. You have one heart. And so many beats. And, and to now <laughs> store an item, because we don't have a chest. <laughs> Using those Hunger Game tactics. Ah, uh, yes. Glorious Hunger Minecraft-based hunter I was games. Say, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I think they're called survival games in Minecraft, to be fair. And at this point, I've actually had just plain enough of this, and I just become a steady stream of corpses flying <laughs> at this thing. Like, you weren't already. Oh, no, I was actually... Even more. I was taking shelter. I just found six random cooked fish, so... There. Just have some fish. And here we go. Because... And away it goes. It runs away. <laughs> it does. It it tries to get away. And one is three are lasering you through the big one. They stop. Yes. Weird. It's trying to get away. Yeah. I was attempting to build it too high. <laughs> Till it works. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd throw like a good twelve bodies at this guy. Oh my god. It it got to a, a certain point, but thankfully in the end. You get the achievement. And now we have a second sponge, which Yay. actually speeds up a decent amount. It does. It doubles our speed of removing source Cause blocks. Because it's not just me using sponge inefficiently and shouting about sponge. Eh, which you still did. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. And here I oh go again God. while you guys are slowly moving to uh, explore and find. I, I love one. this. I just kept this in. That's like it's, it's, no. I'm you tired of <laughs> there's. <laughs> you stock home to fish. <laughs> now a guardian in a corner. Bunch of blocks to hold it in place. <laughs> I no longer need to worry about uh, it. We're still here. <laughs> still there. Yep. Look! Look at all the fish. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey Mike, next time you die, could you bring some uh, more pickaxes? Sure. Uh, well, since Mike said sure. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. That was well deserved. <laughs> and Tom finds the third one. guardian. And I really have no idea what you're doing here. It was one of those, all right, well, I just need to get to a spot and wait for you guys to catch up. And then I realized, oh, there's guardians in this little room. Damn it. Uh, wall off the area. Uh, hold on. Uh, I have three blocks. That's not <laughs> enough to wall off an area. Uh, how about a corner? No. Uh, all right, I need to breathe. <laughs> Maybe I can go over here and wall off this door and wait. And lays that to us. <laughs> <laughs> we already know it's found. Why do, what, what? But first, <laughs> but first, along the way, you discover a certain room. That uh, I stay oh yeah, in I'm like, I'm like, wait, 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 what? No, no, no. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, well, lock all, cl close all this off. Close off that room. And, and gonna tell, uh, gonna tell, tell Mike about this. <laughs> Oh man, the amount of time you said glorious sponge and stuff like that throughout this. I was just an annoying prick. Oh uh, yeah, you're, you're coming down from being dead again. I'm like, Mike, Mike, over here. Look, at, look in the room I'm looking in. Look where I look. And you're, I have no you're, idea where you're trying to direct me. You, you, just, you, you thought I put sponges in the furnace. That's where you were going that way. Oh, uh, you're, I guess, you're yeah. two sponges from earlier. You literally went all the way. I'm sitting going like, really? <laughs> Like, no, no, it's no. empty. What do you mean? Well, there's no I sponges. I don't understand. Where are the sponges? <laughs> so I'm like, mm, okay. Scott, you lied to me. Where are they? I'm like, all right. No. <laughs> and finally, I find it. You seize it. <gasps> the promised land. And there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, things blocked. He spends a good minute struggling with this one okay. block. Look in. Uh, it, it, sure. It's water. No. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this you, is the worst. <laughs> do you actually break through this, or do you turn around and get a uh, pickup? I, I do. Uh, I break through it. And then... My sponge was had. <laughs> and I finally empty that room uh, good. and get, like, 32 sponges. Yeah, good 10 minutes of you gathering sponge. Yup. <laughs> oh, no. Fell. Grab now we that. get to see an example of the torch water breathing method working. Bloop. Yep. Bloop. Both basically do the same thing, create a temporary pocket. Scott walled it off. I yeah. did, because it was flooding. Yep. Yes. And I built a stairwell for you to come out of there. Meanwhile, using the two sponges, I built an air channel. Channel! Oh my god. And here's just. At some point, I do it, but I'm just going to cook all of these sponges. All these lovely uh, I, moved, I moved the furnace up because it okay. was needed. Yes. Boink. Mm. On to the final boss! Now that we have 34 sponges and me going forward. Oh my god, so much easier. It's just spam blocks to remove water. It's so much time saved with that sponge room. Yeah. Maybe that's a better suggestion. If you plan on doing this with a lot of people, find a sponge room, room first. Then worry about beating the things up. Uh, here's actually, I think, my favorite part of the entire episode. Because it's just, huh? It just gets stuck on this pillar. And I'm not allowed to kill it or hurt it. Because I've already got the achievement, I don't want to accidentally kill another one, so we have to find another one. So I'm just like, guys, um, help, gu help, guys, <laughs> guys, I, I need some help. Come, come look at this. I'm just stuck. And I'm like, eh. 
have <laughs> none of that. It's got trying to preserve his one death only. <laughs> uh, I, I like how my uh, chess piece has traveled. Yeah, that's your. For, that's for those your... who need it. <laughs> yeah. Seven sponges. Good. Good enough. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Run away! Ah, oh, didn't make it. And at this point, you just make a bouncy fish. Yes. So I realized earlier that by removing the water, it actually fell back further. So I rushed, rushed past it to uh, remove water. Yep. Blair. <laughs> and now, Scott, go forth. Destroy the bouncy fish. Is a it bouncy is, guardian. It is raving out. <laughs> Minus the key. Which was the uh, phrase of the episode. If no. We sponge. Sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even lie. It's sponge. Okay. <laughs> it was Tom's phrase of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Just a sigh of discontent and then mining fatigue. <laughs> mining fatigue. <laughs> that exact one right there. It doesn't even come close to the number of times. <laughs> you yelled sponge. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been an exponential curve in comparing the two. Oh my god. Okay, I want to close that little thing. There we go. Yeah. And. This is dead die, dead. please! Die. die! You're no longer hurting me! Die! die. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the save lag. Oh. I'm sitting here going, uh, why aren't you dying? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike needed to be, uh, Tom needed to be lifted, and then Mike needed and to be lifted. I think I drop in. Yeah. There it comes. Yeah. To be fair, I had found the dirt block for the entrance and had almost broken through by the time you got there. Uh, there I am collecting and burning more sponge. You're like, why haven't you killed yet? I just let you in! <laughs> Come on! Kill Whack. it! Whack! Whack! Dead! Yes! With one heart left! Nice. And <laughs> the third achievement at 0.32%. I understand why. Yay. Sponge achievement. Check. Fish <laughs> achievement. Check. Check. Time to go. Yeah. All right. So I had absolutely nothing in this place that I wanted to keep at this point. So he's just bumming everything on me. Except for uh, the materials and one sponge. I claimed one sponge out of all this. Uh, yes. So I'm, I'm gonna take the uh, fastest route back. Make it eh? death. What is with all those little bubbles that we saw? What do you mean? Every once in a while, there was just like bubbles, bubbles trailing, and it wasn't just from us. Yeah, this is Wonder Woman effect. That's not it. It's also the beams. Ah, if the beams okay. break, they leave bubbles. Ah, okay. Blah. Why are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting back because uh, it kills uh, you faster. Yes. <laughs> and. Blur. Drowned while trying to escape a guardian. And in that amount of time, we got in boats. Just waiting for you guys to get over here. Wee. And Scott's personal bane of Minecraft, <laughs> mounting boats. <laughs> trying to get into a boat. I'm like, uh, you know, I, I still can't remember how to no. boat. <laughs> it's like, you're Whoa. having issues come back and... Are you, are you okay? I just need to... Just need a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Get you. You eventually figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> and and like, the fastest way back to our spawn location is just, once again, death. I also get to see something that I didn't realize uh, until this episode. I realized it much earlier. But uh, when squids are attacked, especially by guardians... Oh, they ink. They ink to break the beam. Oof. That's cool. Did not know that. Yeah, it was really cool. I had no idea either until I watched this section of video. Yeah, eat and me! Laser! There. If you punch it, they stop trying to beam you. And I'm back at home base. And welcome to the now named Camp Guardian. Though I do have to admit, not the best symmetry base, but I do enjoy the little guardian symbol you made in the center. You know, I didn't even actually realize that it was uh, <laughs> a guardian. I just made a symmetrical shape. It's a guardian. I know. <laughs> uh, looking at it now. Yes. Little quick right, spoiler so as you guys ventured back to the base of what is coming, coming up. up. Uh, either next or 
quite soon. So, boom. Next, we're going to go beat the crap out of the Evoker. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. You're saying, like, look at that. It's right there. It's so pretty. I'm uh, like, what the hell are you talking about? I <laughs> turn clouds off. Oh, and here's Tom in the nether. Uh, Grinding wither skeletons and blazes for other things. And I have no idea what the heck happened there with that. Oh, my lag for being in the nether and you guys being in the overworld and so it's far away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, caused so many issues. But All right, here yay. we are. I couldn't see that manner at all. Yeah. You had clouds on. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, that's the three achievement episode: the witch, the sponge, and the elder, elder guardian. guardian. So, I once again uh, apologize for having this video out later or a week late, uh, but we wanted to make sure that it was a quality thing that wasn't just the garbled audio of. <laughs> So, but now that's in there now. Yeah, good job. Oh no! <laughs> Gang. Oh, I've ruined it. Well, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right. Well, that's that. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment down below, and catch you next time.